This great theatre on the banks of the River Avon was built in the mid-20th century and is a vibrant, functioning monument to William Shakespeare. He came here to London as a young man and began his career as an actor and playwright and theatre manager. But it is here in Stratford-upon-Avon. Here in this house he was born in 1564, the son of John and Mary Shakespeare. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, and summer's lease hath all too short a date. But always there is the river and beauty, as in this from sonnet number 18. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, and summer's lease hath all too short a date. This one was written to a young man, but many of the sonnets were written to or about the so-called Dark Lady of the Sonnets, whose identity remains a continually debated mystery to this day. Another fascinating house that one can visit close to Stratford is the childhood farm home of Mary Arden, his mother. Seeing the hawks and owls around the farmhouse brings to mind the passage from Shakespeare's Love's Labour's Lost and is a beautiful sketch about how winter must have been in those days. Perhaps the most famous of all the buildings associated with William Shakespeare is this one. Anne Hathaway's cottage. This was the childhood home of Shakespeare's wife, Anne Hathaway. And from Macbeth, tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out, out, brief candle, Life's but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signified.